Skin tight. Chad Noir was sexy. There was no way Marinette could deny that fact. Whether it was his messy hair, alluring cat eyes, sexy smirk, or a Dorito proportional shoulder-to-waist ratio. Chad Noir screamed sin. His suit did an awful job of hiding his pert little figuratively butt and thick thighs, and yet Marinette found herself less and less bothered by the view. It got even to the point where she enjoyed it. Maybe more than she enjoyed Adrian. Technically they weren't dating yet and isn't it healthy to experiment before settling down with someone for the rest of your life. As much as she was absolutely head over heels for Adrian Agrest she was absolutely curious about a certain kitty. He wasn't going anywhere and she wanted time to test the waters. Maybe it was her raging teenage hormones. Maybe it was her absolute lack of a sex life and surplus of imagination. Maybe it was one too many nights spent thinking of those shoulders, those hips, and that downright sensual smirk. Whatever it was, Marinette wanted to see her kitty squirm. But how? Marinette couldn't reveal herself to him. That was off the table, and she wasn't gonna let him revel himself to her either. Their suits were definitely going to be an obstacle. She had tested it out of curiosity, and when she was transformed it was pretty much bound to her skin. It wasn't that it was tight. It was that it was physically attached to her body. No matter how much they tried to squeeze themselves out of those suits it was never gonna happen. How else could she get around this? They couldn't both be blindfolded could they? That would just be messy and confusing, and it could possibly break something, hopefully her bed. Which brought another question. Where in Paris could they do this? If they know each other in real life there was no way they could go to either of their rooms without knowing. This was too difficult. Maybe a hotel. Ugh, but hotels were too. Knock knock. Expensive. Marinette looked up at the hatch above her bed. Did someone knock? After a few moments of silence she decided it was her imagination. She returned to her thoughts only to be interrupted again by another knock. Confusion struck her face as she reached up and opened the hatch to find the source of the noise. Green eyes blinked down at her paired with an absolutely delicious smirk. Marinette blushed. See Chad Noir. She stuttered. Good evening, princess. How are you tonight? He greeted politely. Ah, uh, fine. What are you doing here? She asked. Oh I thought I would stop by and check up on my favorite Parisian. Something tells me you've been stressed out lately, he replied. It wasn't a lie. Marinette had been stressed all week. Surely all her classmates could tell, but on top of a million assignments for school and a bunch of jobs Jagged Stone wanted her to complete by next Wednesday she was toast. Aaliyah had to make her physically stay still and take deep breaths one day, and Adrian even gave her a hug when she had a meltdown after yet another assignment was given to the class. Who told you that? She asked thankful that she didn't stutter again. In all honesty she should have been working on other things besides her plan to nail Chad Noir, but even with her work in front of her it took priority. A little birdie, he answered and noticed the papers and pencils piled around her bed. Why don't you take a break and we can chat a little bit, he suggested. Marinette looked back at her work and then to those glowing green eyes. Ah, uh, how could she say no to that face? Sure. Great. I promise my company will definitely be worthwhile, princess, he winked. She rolled her eyes and moved out of the way for him to lower himself down on her bed. He helped her move the papers off to the side as they started to talk. They talked about little things. How was your day? My day was like this. How was yours? My day was similar. Stuff like that. It was nice to just small talk with Chad Noir instead of try and figure out how she was gonna nail him in the next week or so. He truly was a good guy, and she trusted him with her first time. It was just hard to figure out how to make her first time happen. You okay, princess? He spoke. His voice snapped her attention back to him. Crap. She had dozed off again. Why yes. I mean, I'm fine, she replied a little too enthusiastically. He lifted a brow. Uh, are you sure? He continued. I I'm positive, I was just thinking about stuff, she said. Oh, what kind of stuff? He asked and scooted closer. She blushed. Goddammit why did she have to be such a terrible liar? Nothing. And nothing important. She squeaked and shifted away from him. Chat frowned. He obviously wasn't falling for her lie. If there's something stressing you out you should tell me. I want you to relax and take a break with me, he said. She blinked. Damn he was so kind and thoughtful. That and his eyes were such a seductive shade of green. He probably wasn't even intending it that way, but Marinette wanted him to. That's very kind of you, she managed. He smiled. She wanted to sit on that perfect smile. Anything for my princess, he purred. His low voice elected a short sound from Marinette's pressed lips. She really needed to get a hold of her hormones. Chad indubitably heard the sound and knit his brows in confusion. Ah, uh, are you okay? 
he asked. I'm fine, I just, I've been thinking a lot lately, she murmured and shifted back in front him. He perked up when he realized she was actually going to talk to him about something. What's on your mind? He asked. I've actually been thinking about you, she admitted. He blinked. Of me? He questioned. She nodded and inched a little closer. He noticed and suddenly felt a little, dot off. Um, W what do you mean by that? He stuttered. I mean, I've been thinking about you, she repeated. He had a feeling he knew what she was talking about but really didn't want to make any assumptions. This was Marinette, his shy adorable classmate. There was no way she had been thinking, about him. There was no way she was actually looking at him the way she was with eyes like that. Eyes that looked hungry and desperate for their next meal. Or possibly their first. See can you be more specific? His voice nearly cracked as he moved himself a couple inches back. He couldn't do anything with Marinette. Not when he was so set on saving himself for Ladybug. She noticed him scooting away and crawled towards him. I've been thinking about your body, Dot and how very little to the imagination your suit leaves, she spoke softly as approached him. A panicked look took over his face as he continued to crawl back until he met the pillows at the start of her bed. Oh oh um, ha ha. Why yeah it really doesn't, he laughed nervously. She didn't stop when he did, and instead kept getting closer and closer. Soon enough she met the end too and settled herself on his lap. I've also been thinking about you and me, together, she said and touched his waist. Chad eyed her hands and went to sit up only for her to push him back down. He blinked up at her with wide eyes. She was unbelievably gorgeous and sexy in this moment. He didn't know why, but he liked what was happening. But he still had Ladybug. Listen, I am really flattered you think about me this way, but Ladybug isn't here, she interrupted. He swallowed. That doesn't matter. Chad listen to me. Don't you think it makes sense to experiment before settling down? She questioned. Her hand was still on his shoulder pushing him down. He was struggling to think super clearly. All that came to mind was several question marks. Um. I understand where you're coming from, chat. I actually like someone too. Someone who's absolutely amazing, but getting him just seems so hopeless, she told him. He couldn't deny he knew how she felt. It might happen one day, but today, she ran her hand down from his shoulder over his chest. I want to do something other than pinning, she whispered. He took a breath, and she could feel his lungs under her palms. His eyes were wide as he watched her examine him with those misty blues. Mari. What do you think about Ladybug? She asked. She's amazing, he answered. And. Clever, and brave. She's wonderful. Is that it? Yes, she's pretty. I'm sure a smart kitty like you has a much more colorful vocabulary than that. Gorgeous, he corrected. She giggled. Why did he find her so, sexy? Okay, cat. What do you think of me? She inquired and slowly pushed back her blazer. You're, are really nice, he stuttered as his eyes were glued to the sudden clarity of her figure. It was hard to see exactly what her body looked like with her blazer on, but now that it was off he never wanted to look away. With his brain so focused on Ladybug, he didn't even think about what Marinette would look naked. Now, it was difficult not to. Go on, she urged and pulled out her pigtails. He was suddenly speechless as she ruffled her free-flowing hair. Bright cerulean eyes peeked through black strands and Adrian could feel his self-control dwindling. Um, you're really nice and kind and, he trailed off. He was getting lost in the brilliant hue of her eyes. Yes. A and, pretty, really really pretty. Keep going, she urged and reached behind her to peel her socks off. He shook his head and tried to focus on the task at hand. Why you're thoughtful and a good leader and you have a nice smile and why you're, you're. The boy trailed off again as she gripped the hem of her shirt and pulled it off her body. She tossed it to the side and smiled at him as she pushed her hair over her ear. His face was brilliantly red as his eyes feasted on the sight of Marinette's pale skin. He had no idea she could be this alluring. He had no idea she could be this. Sexy, he breathed. She giggled once more. Do you wanna know what I think about you, kitty? She whispered. He couldn't speak. He could only nod. I think, Dot, you have a really nice body, she spoke in a rather sensual voice that made Chad bite his lip. I think you don't even know the effect you have on me, Mon Chaton, she continued and ran her hand from his chest to his hip. He noticed her bra strap sliding off her shoulder as she did so. She didn't bother to fix it. I think, I've spent too many nights imagining what you feel like instead of finding out for my own, she whispered and let the other strap. Oh God, how far was he gonna let this go? I think, she said as she reached behind her. You'd fit nicely. He heard a snap. Comfortably. The garment fell off her chest. 
Dotted perfectly inside of me, she murmured as she tossed her bra to the side. Jack could not speak. It was nearly impossible at that moment in time. He told himself he wouldn't look, but the moment the soft cups were out of the way his eyes adhered to her chest immediately. He gaped as he took in every detail of her rosy breasts. They were neither small nor big, but rather a perfect size. Her skin was pale, and her nipples were a darkish pink and quite frankly adorable. The freckles across her face were also lightly splashed below her collarbones and the tops of her boobs. It was like flecks of gold over her porcelain skin. Adrian was frozen underneath her. He didn't know what to do. He couldn't believe Marinette, his adorable blushing classmate, was acting like this. He also couldn't believe the reaction he had to everything she was doing. He was actually, really turned on. Her giggle snapped his eyes away from her chest and up to her eyes. Pink was barely dusted upon her cheeks but it was probably nothing compared to his burning face. She then unbuttoned her jeans and shifted her hips slightly. A noise escaped his throat and she grinned. You're hard, she announced. He wanted to die of embarrassment. I I, s sorry, he stuttered unable to think of something better to say. Sorry, she questioned and undid the zipper. I'm flattered, she said and pulled at the pink denim to reveal tan seamless underwear. It was now clear that this wasn't planned. I wanna feel you, chat. I want you to fuck me, she said and shifted her hips again. His eyes widened. Why you, I I, he was incoherent after that. Chat, she spoke. Her voice silenced him as she took his hands and guided them up her body. I fantasized about you before, she told him and fully rolled her hips. He turned even redder. Do you want me to? She asked. She couldn't quite say where this confidence is coming from, but the amazed look in his eyes definitely fueled it. He nodded dumbly and allowed her to bring his hands over her breasts. Show me, she urged and rolled again. The suit created a barrier between his hands and her skin, and it made him press his lips together impatiently. He continued nonetheless and gently squeezed the flesh she had lead him to. A soft sound poured into the room as her smile widened and she let go of his hands. Adrian was still uncertain of what he was doing, but the way she looked at him told him he wanted to go further. He squeezed again and pushed his palms up against her breasts and rubbed his thumbs against her nipples. She gave a breathy laugh before biting her lip. Have you ever done this before? She asked. He shook his head, his eyes were stuck on his hands and her chest working together. Do you like it so far? She continued. He nodded and pinched her nipple. She let out a content sigh before grinning and giggling again. That feels good, she said. Shit. Hold on. She quickly took his hands away and rolled off of him on her back. Adrian was about to ask her what she was doing when suddenly her pants were discarded and her long legs were bare. Before she could get back on top of him he had rolled over instead without thinking and kissed her on the mouth. A squeak escaped Marinette's mouth as the boy was suddenly pinning her to the bed. Shit dot did she prompt this. Was he that eager for her? She eventually kissed him back and wrapped her arms around his neck. Cold claws brushed against her side and she arched forward for him to allow his hand on the small of her back. A shiver ran up her spine as he pressed her body closer and kissed her senseless. His hot mouth was eager. He seemed more than willing to please as he wedged his thigh between hers and rubbed her against him with his grip on on her waist. Marinette stuttered out a moan. The same thighs she's been fantasizing about for weeks was now pressed right up against her cunt. It was fantastic. While Adrian considered himself a gentleman, he could only take Marinette's teasing for so long before he snapped. She was gorgeous, of course, but never has he ever seen her this damn sexy. Everything from her attitude to her voice to her body was absolutely irresistible. She made a good point too. Who's to say he can't explore before he settles on his lady? Surely she wouldn't mind since she didn't seem to even be interested. While Ladybug was the love of his life Marinette wanted him, and frankly that was something he craved for a while. Someone to desire him. Chat, she moaned when she broke off for air. He continued down her neck with his lips and gripped her hips with both hands. She moaned louder as he ground her harder against his leg. Adrian could feel her heat and licked her clavicle as he whimpered quietly. I want you, f fuck. She moaned. He groaned and knit his brows as he continued to kiss the top of her breast. Mari, he sighed and dug the nails on his suit into her panties. I w want you inside me, she moaned with a pink face. He pressed his lips together to hold back a sound. It was like she was straight out of a wet dream minus the red mask and skin-tight suit. I can't undo. Turn me around, she commanded. He stopped with wide eyes, and his jaw dropped. Did she just? W what? He stuttered. Turn me around, and fuck me from behind, she repeated sternly. 
God damn. Hey, are you sure? It's not as personal. Remember, Kitty, we're just testing the waters, she reminded him. She closed his gaping jaw with her finger and smiled. So flip me over, she whispered. He followed her instructions perfectly and nearly died when he got a face full of Marinette's ass. He was mesmerized for a moment, and didn't register the rustling noises coming from her nightstand. Needless to say he was surprised when she handed him a condom. D did you pee prepare for this? He nearly shouted. I may have thought I could successfully seduce you if you ever visited soon, she said coyly. He was nearly about to combust. This girl, really wanted him to fuck her. Don't keep me waiting, she coaxed and wiggled her butt in his face. Um, I'm G gonna, undo it now, he spoke as he watched her perfectly round a plump butt. Please do, she said and leaned on her forearms, giving Adrian an even better view. His face was redder than it has ever been before. He could barely stutter out the words before his transformation was released. With now bare hands he slowly cupped her ass. A sigh escaped Marinette's lips and he gnawed on his lower lip. Adrian then slipped off her underwear. He kept his eyes on the fabric and it traveled over her strong porcelain legs. She lifted each knee slightly one at a time so he could completely strip off the garment. Like what you see, she asked. Adrian was reluctant to look directly at her. It seemed rude to do that. Although he could smell her arousal and it was just as good as seeing. He swallowed hard. I, I'm not looking, he admitted. She giggled. But I want you to, she said and gave her hips a slight sway to capture his attention. Adrian took a deep breath. He wasn't expecting anything pretty, so he was a little surprised when he did look up. Of course it wasn't comparable to the beauty of her face, but the first thing that popped into his mind was flowers. She wasn't ugly there. In fact it was nicer to look at than he was expecting. Maybe it was the mixture of her smell and her ass. Maybe it was because she wanted him to look at her. Maybe it was because he's seen uglier ones online. He let out a shaky breath and touching down her thighs. What do you think? She asked. God damn, he muttered. He found himself leaning closer and closer to her until he was kissing her thigh and ass cheek. She giggled. I take it you like it. Fuck, you are killing me, he mumbled and pressed wetter kisses over her skin. She laughed and then trailed off into a whimper as he got closer and closer to her lips. D don't take your time. I want you now, she whined. Patience, princess, he whispered. She whined again. She was growing more and more impatient the liger she was aroused. Chat pee please, she pleaded. Wait, he hushed and grabbed her pert flesh. Marinette couldn't help but whimper some more and bury her red face in her arms. She was ready to demand for him to get on with it again when she suddenly felt his tongue against her slick folds. A surprised and loud moan escaped her as he experimented with longer and shorter strokes. Her entire body was on edge. His mouth and tongue were so warm and so wet it turned her on even more. She was breathing hard between moans as she clawed at her sheets. To make things even worse he was starting to tease around her clit yet never gave her the satisfaction of direct contact. Chat, f fucking, t touch, dot mmh. She couldn't even get out the words she wanted to say. He chuckled, and she could feel his hot breath against her skin. You're cute like this, he said before lightly running the tip of his tongue up her slit. She groaned into the sheets. F fuck me already, she muffled into her arms as he continued to tease her. His only response was another laugh. He then finally focused his tongue on her clit as he pushed a finger inside of her. She gasped and let out a loud groan. Chat, she panted. Her moans and little sounds were starting to get to him. The way she said his superhero name was so much sexier than he could imagine her moaning his actual name. She clenched her teeth and hissed as he curled his finger inside of her. Ah, goddammit. More. She begged. He was hesitant to add another finger. Adrian didn't want to hurt her, but she was literally begging for it. She hissed again and he stopped. And no, don't tea that was s so good. Don't stop, she cried. Jesus Christ. Hey are you sure it doesn't? No, it doesn't hurt. Please, dot off fuck me, she whimpered. He let out a shaky breath and resumed his fingers. While he did that he also undid his pants and pulled them down with one hand. Marinette moaned louder and louder the faster his fingers worked. Soon he felt comfortable enough for a third finger. She groaned. Does, does that really f feel that good? He asked curiously. She nodded into her arms and tried to manage her breathing enough to speak. Yeah, so good, she breathed. Marinette was confident it felt so good because she was a virgin. Feeling someone else's fingers was a rush, and the power behind those fingers went much farther than her own. God, how could she ever look him in the eyes again as Ladybug without the memory of his dumbfounded face when she stripped on top of him?
He wouldn't know it was her, but still, dot she would have a hard time containing herself around him. Adrian pulled his fingers out for a moment to finish stripping off his pants and tugging off his shirt too. Surely his clothes would get in the way at one point. He would rather feel her skin with his own instead of through a layer of cotton. He was quick to open and roll on the condom before positioning himself behind Marinette. She kept her eyes closed in fear she might accidentally look back or see his face somehow. It wouldn't be the end of the world, but finding out his identity would definitely put a hold on this and she was so desperate that she didn't want to go through that now. When Adrian looked down at Marinette in front of him he nearly choked. Her back looked incredibly sexy. From the angle he was at her waist looked tiny and her hips were huge in comparison. Her hair was a hot mess and was all over the place. He loved it. Usually it was so neat and tucked into two pigtails but now it was wild and free. How was he ever going to be normal around her again? He could never go to class and look at her without thinking of all the things she has said to him tonight. Chat please, I need you, she said and pushed back to rub against him. He was about to speak but he couldn't even process words when she pressed up against him. She was so warm. She was so soft. She was so, Marinette. Adrian grabbed her butt and slowly guided her entrance to the tip of his dick. He bit his lip hard and moaned as he slowly sunk into her. Her response was immediate and gratifying as ever. He could hear her nails dig and scratch at her sheets. She was yet to tell him to slow down or stop, so he continued pushing in. When he got about halfway he couldn't take it anymore and snapped his hips the rest of the way. Marinette cried out and grunted when his hips pushed against her ass. Shit. She moaned. Sorry, W was that too fast? He asked. She shook her head. No, do it again please, she sighed in pleasure. He wetted his lips and carefully drew back before bucking his hips into her again. They both moaned, but Marinette's moan was louder. Again, keep going, she groaned. Oh okay, he stuttered and did as she asked. Despite being uncertain before Adrian was positive what he wanted now. Before when she was coming on to him he was confused but now his feelings were crystal clear. He wanted Marinette. He started his thrusts off rather slow taking his time each time their skin met to wiggle around and finding out which angle she liked. She moaned and appreciated each grind of his hips between every thrust. Her toes curled and her back arched with the pleasure. It was clear it felt good to chat too. When he wasn't moaning he was breathing heavy, and even then he was gasping for breath. Just feeling and hearing him was good enough for Marinette but when she imagined what kind of faces he must be making she couldn't help but groan. Damn now she felt as if she was missing out. Dee do, dot you want faster? He asked. His voice was hoarse and his grip on her ass was only getting tighter. She nodded. Yes, please, she replied. Adrian swallowed hard and prepared himself for how fucking good this would feel. He stopped the grinding and focused more on in and out in and out. Marinette was blubbering with moans and panting as he tried to angle his hips. It seemed it wasn't necessary based on how loud and enthusiastic Marinette sounded. That was enough to make him move faster. Once he had built up a steady rhythm his body was tingling with pleasure. He grunted with each push of his hips and leaned down to kiss her shoulders. Marinette's eyes snapped open when she felt lips between her shoulder blades. She forced herself to stare straight ahead, but she was on the verge of freaking out over just how close Chat was getting to her, without the mask. As his hips got faster his lips only got higher and higher up her back. Marinette whimpered and buried her head in her arms. She didn't want to see him. Maybe after they were finished, but not now. He pulled her hair out of the way of her nape before attacking her pale skin with his lips and tongue and teeth. Mari whined. Shit. Was he going to leave a mark? Jador Tapo, he whispered. She moaned in response. You are, beautiful, he added. His words were muffled by his kisses that lead to the side of her neck. She squeezed her eyes tight and lifted her head to allow better access to her neck. He took advantage of her cooperation before returning to her nape and biting her skin. Ah, chat. She moaned and let her head fall again. He had gotten to the point where he was ramming himself into her. Without even thinking he was bucking at the perfect speed. Marinette was writhing under him and pushing back to meet his thrusts. So good, Mari, you're so good, he mumbled against her neck before biting it again. She cried out helplessly. Everything he did and said made her overflow with pleasure. His words were so sweet. She probably should have been worried about that but for now she just enjoyed his love and affection. You make me feel so good, he sighed as he reached between her legs. She gasped when he stroked her clit and reached to bite her knuckle in attempts to muffle herself. Perhaps she was being a bit too loud, or perhaps not loud enough since Chad pulled her hand from her mouth almost immediately. 
Instead he intertwined his fingers with hers and held her hands as he sped up even more. She was so close. She was helpless. She was, totally gonna be disappointed with whoever else she has sex with. He was setting the bar pretty high. So, fucking good, he grunted and moved his hips even faster. Marinette felt like every nerve in her body was on edge. She was so close. So close. Chat, holy shit, I I'm, I'm gonna, ah. Marinette, he moaned. Her words had only fueled him to kiss her more, and press harder and faster against her clit. A almost, a, al, foo, she trailed off. Her breath hitched as the pleasure hit her and rolled through her entire body. A strangled, quiet moan was squeezed out of her as her hips came to a still. Adrian gritted his teeth, still pushing into her until he finally met the same fate. He groaned and sunk his teeth into the same spot on her nape he had been so focused on marking. Hot cum filled the condom as shivers ran down his spine. He bit his lip as he cherished the intense, yet fleeting, pleasure. Marinette was breathing heavy underneath him, and his hand was still holding hers. Geez, he sighed and nuzzled into the back of her neck. The scent of her hair filled his nostrils and he sweetly kissed her blossoming nape. She moaned tiredly. Her legs were tired from holding her up for so long. Chat, I'm tired, she mumbled. He chuckled. Okay, I'll pull out now, he assured her. She braced herself as he did just that and sighed. It took a moment to adjust before she stretched out her legs and let herself rest on her stomach. Adrian took a moment to process the warm and fuzzy feeling in his stomach before he could properly function again. He took off the condom and neatly tied it off before tossing it in the trash. With that contraception out of the way he proceeded to dress himself again before calling for Plague to transform him. Marinette's eyes were still closed and she was just about to fall asleep again when Chad nudged her shoulder. The feeling of his claws on her skin told her it was safe to look over, and smiled at him over her shoulder. He returned the smile and handed her some of her clothes. She sat up. Thanks, she said. Chad nodded and she started to dress herself again. Once she got her underwear and shirt on she hummed tiredly and pushed her jeans off the bed. Ugh. Now I'm beat, she murmured. Chad chuckled. You took a lot, he replied and took her hand to kiss the back of it. You didn't leave a mark, did you? She asked and leaned her head on his shoulder. He smoothed her hair away from her neck and smiled at the red and purple mark on her nape. Only where people can't see, that is if you wear your hair down, he said. She jerked her head back to give him a stern look. No, her hand shot up to the back of her neck. You, dot you did that on purpose. She accused. He laughed. Maybe, he hummed and leaned forward to slowly kiss her throat. I definitely didn't do it so I could see your messy sex hair tomorrow at school, he continued and moved more of her soft hair out of the way. Wait, W, we go to the same school. She stuttered. Fuck. He pulled back. Uh, is that hard to believe? We're like the same age, aren't we? Yeah, I guess, dot, but which class? She asked. Crap. He couldn't say every class. That would be too obvious. Um, I, I just see you in the hallways. You're really hard to miss, he lied and blushed. Well, the first part was a lie. The second part, dot, not so much. Oh, Marinette trailed off blushing. She didn't know what to say. Or I, I mean you're so colorful and beautiful that it's like tea there's no way I could look away, he fixed. She turned pinker and then giggled. You're so sweet, chat, she said and kissed his cheek. Damn, was this the same needy, pleading, and commanding girl from five minutes ago? She seemed like an entirely different person when she wasn't whimpering and whining for him to fuck her. Instead she was polite and cute and, just plain adorable. We, we should do this again sometime, she suggested. He blinked at her in surprise. What about, uh, that other guy? He questioned. She shrugged and ran her finger over his thigh. What about Ladybug? She replied. It took him a little while to process before smiling and nodding. Yeah, we should definitely do this again sometime, he agreed. She smiled back. Awesome, and, we should find new ways of not revealing your identity because, she leaned closer. To be honest I'd like to be on top next time, she whispered. He blushed. Holy fuck. Is that okay with you? She asked. He grinned. Absolutely. Review. Share. Email. Facebook. Twitter. Dot.